Keeping track of when your jobs need to be complete and delivered can be a daunting task. The due date feature in Case Catalyst eliminates the need for the use of third-party software or pen and paper calendars to keep track of transcript deadlines. Catalyst provides an in-application way to not only view when your jobs are due, but to also remind you of when the due dates of jobs are near. You can have Case Catalyst automatically specify a due date for each new transcript, or you can manually assign a due date to some or all of your transcripts. Let's take a look at manually assigning a due date to a single transcript. For this example, our view is the detailed list view. The date the JDooley audio file is due to be delivered is in one week. I will simply right-click on the job, then select Change Due Date. Inside the Due Date column, I can either click into the Due Date field and type a due date, or I can click the down arrow and select a due date from the calendar. Let's click the down arrow. I then simply click the date the job is due. The date I selected is now visible in the Due Date column of my Managed Jobs display. If you choose to type in a due date instead of picking from the calendar, Case Catalyst will recognize many different methods for typing in a date. For example, I was just notified that the J. Dooley audio file job is not due until January 15, 2011. Again, I will right-click on the job and then select Change Due Date. However, this time, I'm going to click inside the Due Date field and type January 15, 11, and press Enter. The Due Date column has now updated to display the new due date. Before we move on to other exciting aspects of the Due Date feature, let's take a look at how you manually assign due dates when viewing Managed Jobs in Icon View. Just like Detailed List View, simply right-click on the job you want to assign or change the due date. After selecting Change Due Date, the job history for the job will appear. In the Due Date field, make sure the checkbox is selected. You can then change the month, day, and year individually, utilizing the up and down arrows or directly typing with the field you want to modify selected, or by clicking the down arrow to view the Due Date calendar. Click OK to save the Due Date. You do not have to manually assign the Due Date for each job individually. If you would like to select multiple jobs, for example, when you are working on a series of jobs in a case, you can highlight each of those jobs and use the Change Due Date function once to assign the due dates to each of the highlighted jobs. If you have a set time frame in which your jobs are due, you can have Case Catalyst automatically set a due date for each new job. You can set this and other due date options inside the Job History Options dialog. You can access Job History Options by going to Tools, Options, Manage Jobs General, and then Job History. If you would like Catalyst to automatically set a due date for all new jobs, click the Automatically Set Due Date option, click the down arrow to the right, and select Yes. You can then set the number of days from the day you created the job to set the due date. For example, if your jobs are always due 10 days from the day you took the job, click inside the field to the right of the number of days from the job date option and type 10. You can also use the up and down arrows to select the number of days. You can also have Catalyst perform the very useful act of reminding you that a job's due date is near. There are three options which allow you to specify how and when you will receive notification that a job is almost due. If Use Color to show a job is due is set to Yes, Catalyst will turn the icon of that job red in Icon View, or the entire line of that job red in Detailed List View, a specific number of days before the due date for that job. You can specify the number of days for this to happen by setting the number of days before due date to Report Job as Due option with the desired amount of days. Simply click to the right of this option and type the number of days. You can also use the up and down arrows to set the number of days. The Display Search Due Jobs results at User Startup option, if set to Yes, will display a dialog pane showing any jobs that are nearing or past their due date. The Search Due Jobs dialog can be accessed at any time. You do not have to have it display automatically at User Startup. 
This dialog is also very useful for seeing the jobs, which are in cases, and are nearing their due date. To display the Search Due Jobs dialog, go to Tools and select Search Due Jobs. The Search Due Jobs Results dialog will display. Inside the dialog you will see any jobs that are within the time frame you set for when to be notified if a job is becoming due. If the file is inside of a case, you will see the path to the job and can open the case and highlight the job by double-clicking on the job name. To open the job for editing, you only need to press Enter. For more information about the Due Dates feature and other exciting features of Case Catalyst, press F1 to access help.